It's CCG. I'm coming with another video. I just came outside so you can see the progress of the cups that my husband and I started a couple weeks ago. We did some, well, I did some today and put some um, melons, different types like uh, cantaloupe and canary melon, watermelon. I think I did stinging nettle and also. Um, some it's called um toothache plant so i got some of that in there but we're going to show you the progress of these plants so my husband just took off uh, this one and you can see the plants are growing in really good so i'm glad about that so probably by that last frost we will be able to start putting them in so I'm glad about this. It's This is my first time doing this as a mini greenhouse. I just wanted to test it out and see. So if it works, then I will continue doing it this way. So here is mini greenhouse number two. It's a few little plants that's starting to sprout. So um, we'll see as the time goes. We will keep you all updated as to how um, the plants are growing and progressing okay so here is mini greenhouse number three and you can see a little couple little sprouts in there and so things are coming along great i'm, gl I'm glad that this is working out so let's go to the next one this is mini greenhouse number four um they're growing in very good so we're just going to keep We'll keep you up to date. Um, we'll just watch how things go and everything. And this one is the one I did today um, that has the melons. And I told you on there in the beginning what's in it. So it's too soon to tell how things are going to progress with this one. Now this area, these are the ones I had planted like during the winter time. So my husband and I kind of did a little bit of rearranging things. So I'll show you where the bigger um, storage totes that we had, uh, my husband had drill holes and we had been planting things in them. I'll show you where they're located. Okay guys, so what we did was we took these bins and we put them at the end of the um, raised bed that's furthest away from Duke because Duke he likes to go near the beds but he will try to get into them so we didn't want to put it over there because he probably will be digging whatever he can find in there or yanking something out so we put it at the bed that was furthest away so you can just see how things are coming along I think this one is the cauliflower this is the carrots this is cabbage i can't even see <laughs> what's over there i don't know if y'all can zoom in and see but my eyes i can't remember i've been planting so much stuff out here so and then i'll show you how the buckets are doing turnips and so my husband's saying it's turnips on the right and what's that on the left uh, cauliflower. Oh, that's the cauliflower. Yeah. So that, what, what, what the heck is this? What is this? Cabbage. Oh, this one here? Yeah. Kale. Oh, that's the kale. Yeah. Okay, y'all y'all know what I'm dealing with, my eyes, all right? So I'm going to show you what the buckets are doing. Okay, so here is all the buckets that we started. And we have one bucket that doesn't have anything. I'm, I am going to put some seeds in it so it can start growing but everything is coming along well plus it's starting to warm up a little bit um, like today was in the 60s and it felt good but I was out here and that sun was beating on the back of my neck so, so I had to get out of there so once I was done I went in the house and took a break and had to rest and rehydrate myself 
So that's it for now, guys. So I will keep you posted. So if you like this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications. Thank you all for watching. You all have a blessed weekend. Peace.